Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. About to make a little 12 minute walk to 7-Eleven instead of buying uh, or grabbing my money from the little space that I always get it from. I figured it would be much more reasonable to get that from where um, basically there is a direct ATM to my bank account. So why I didn't think of that sooner, I don't ask myself those type of questions. Uh, basically because I was under too much stress and didn't necessarily need to convenience was was something that I was looking at but when you consider how much of it takes to to pull uh, funds out of the local ATM you understand that you should probably go to an official ATM when your funds absolutely are low <laughs> when you got exactly enough to do what you need to do and that's it <laughs> you would better find ways of making making that make more sense so that's what I'm doing here heading down to where Navy Federal has an actual connection, which is basically every 7-Eleven. So there's one on violent here. I'm about to head down there. But, uh, yeah, man, I was listening to a really good conversation. I wish I would have told you. I wish I would have came prepared. It was a good conversation on the con on the uh, what's going on in Gaza. Uh, someone provided a, a balanced uh, argument for both sides, you know, bringing up very key points that both sides are trying to come up with. To, uh, to to speak on what their situation is, and so I felt like it was telling, it was really telling what they were doing there, and uh, I thought it was positive. I thought it was a positive conversation. You know, you need you need to try to break this down in simple terms, just like any other political conversation. Got to be able to break it down in simple terms for everybody to kind of see concise conversations uh, that debate both sides. So I thought that they did a great job, and I did not come prepared <laughs> to tell y'all what it was, but. Uh, I, I will I will tell y'all another video what exactly that is and check have it so that you guys check it out. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, the conversation is what it is, man. I woke up this morning in meditation. I had a dream last night that uh, my mom was still alive. <laughs> it was a weird dream, man. Uh, my mom was still alive once again, and she was kind of in these modern times, kind of helping me out in this circumstance, like she would have if she were alive, you know basically coming to get me from the hotel here and telling me I didn't have to spend my last couple of dollars to try to get this last week going on this contract because she had reserved a place for me in her at the apartment that we were at back in Dunsmere. That's where we were returning to or something like that. But then, you know, it was kind of some confusion about where I would actually stay. And it became a situation where I had to sleep in Hollywood. <laughs> Or something weird like that. But I ended up... It was a dream that was kind of all over the place. It's like most of my dreams. But I ended up uh, in Hollywood. and It was strange because Sherry Shepard, the, the comedian, had a crush on me. And wanted wanted to have a one-nighter with me or something. I don't know what the hell that dream was about. <laughs> it was weird. But ultimately, I ended up having a situation where I woke up. And uh, it was just like, okay, my mom is not here anymore. She's not actually helping me. I do need to spend my last dollar, dollar on this on this uh, hotel for this week and I do need to try to you know just take care of myself and I was just waking up to the understanding that you know I had it good and that's the moral of the story I had it good I had a mom that was willing to take care of me even now I got it good because my family's willing to help but even more so my mom would be hands on she would never let this get this bad but I think that that being in place doesn't make me better you know if she was still around to kind of take care of me and I would never have learned to respect the things I need to respect in order to keep that from being as bad as it's gotten. You know, as simple as that. I let things get much worse than I ever would have gotten if I'd have been much more uh, dependent on myself sooner in life. So, walking past my favorite little art mural here. When I initially came down here, I did a fantastic video showing all of these different things here, which is like Aztec art that uh, defines modern times. That's what I take it as. I'm not really sure if that's what it is, but it looks like it to me. Like all of these things are like look like they were made 7,000 years ago, but they represent things that are in our modern times. So I felt a lot of spiritual energy from this thing when I first came down here. Did a whole hour video where I was having all types of real conversation about what I was going through. This is my initial reaction to seeing this at the time. But the problem was is that when I first got down here, for whatever reason, I could not upload the video as fast as I thought I had. And I didn't check to see if it had uploaded because it was like seven hours later, it still hadn't uploaded. 
and I ended up deleting that video. And I just thought that the conversation was fantastic. This art was fantastic. And I never actually got a chance to either watch that video or allow you guys to see it either. So it was really, really frustrating that that was the case. But uh, I did come back around and show you all this. And this is the first time I've been down here since, to be honest with you. Or maybe the second, because I think I came back and got some food down this direction. But usually now I walk in the other direction because, of course, hey, kitty. I am uh, usually going down to the train station, so there's never any reason to walk down here anymore. But I did love this art. And figured that I, since I'm coming down this way again, we'll get you an opportunity to show it to you guys in this way. So, that's what I'm doing. Just giving the chance to kind of look over some of this stuff because I really, really dig it. Beatles there. And of course the easy button from the Target, I believe that is. Or Staples, I think it might be Staples. But just a lot of stuff here that I really dig. A lot. really really cool stuff man so just wanted to document it once again since I'm here in on that, that's a Heineken and uh, man every time I see Heineken I tell you the truth every time I see anything from Heineken I think of that that time when I was in uh, down Sunset Boulevard remember I was telling you guys a few weeks ago when I was on Sunset down there uh, where I saw like a it was uh get my head right circuit city in that area and the movie theater down there uh by the uh, sunset uh kaiser area where i was telling y'all i used to work over there and all that and i had gotten so far down the street that i had showed y'all that there was uh a time when i went with a friend to someone's house and we didn't know them and their uh, loved one had just passed away uh, well that was like one of the biggest things that they had uh, memorialized him on it was regards to him loving Heineken. And so every time I see Hink of that situation where he had passed and we had just went to their house and, uh, you know, he had died on Sunset in a car accident. I didn't know this guy. I didn't know the people. I don't know them. You know what I mean? But it's one of them situations where I just went there that day. And that left such an impact on me because of how heavy the room was when we walked in there. And then, of course, how much they loved their loved one. And uh, they were offering everybody Heineken's and near his memorial where they had set up for him. It was Heineken's all over the place. And it was like that was his signature. That was what he was really about, man. He loved his Heineken. So every time I seen Heineken after that, including now, my mind goes straight to him. Though I never knew him, never met him, didn't know his people. I still remember that situation like it was uh, something that impacted me that never ended, uh, never left my mind. Right? So... Sometimes you just never know. I look at things like that as imprints. Situations or moments in your life that in the moment you may not realize you'll never forget. But as you go forward in your life, you realize those are moments that kind of define the era. And I'm telling you, going to their house in that moment and everything that happened there, everything that I felt in that room never left me in my life for some strange reason. And I remember where he had passed away, where they told me he passed away, how he passed away. The whole thing, it was a car accident. And uh, it's just very strange how that goes, man. It's very impactful. So that is forever in my mind. Rest in peace to that individual. Uh, and if his family would ever see this, just know that, that you know, I still think of that to this day. Y'all probably don't even remember me. I don't even remember y'all, to be honest with you. But I remember how that went. But, uh, yeah, man. So at any rate, I'm glad I was able to kind of get that art on yet another video here it's probably the second time you guys will have seen that art hopefully i was able to get even more in detail with it this time a whole two months later but uh hey man just trying to walk down to this 7-eleven i'm guessing it's over here somewhere <laughs> i'm just walking i honestly don't know but they said about 12 minutes down vineland this is vineland i ain't seen it yet so we keep going ah there it is yeah so that's in it yeah i need that 7-eleven why because that was the 7-eleven on the corner of the street that my boy q used to live on of course his building's like a block and a half down somewhere so and from what i understand there should be an atm in there hopefully it's free for those of us who use this bank i'll be very disappointed if it still says four dollars or five dollars you know what i mean but the intention is to try to get out everything that i need <clears throat> to pay these people what they need 
etc. Uh, so that I can stay in here for another week. As to which the end of the week is the end of the uh, contract. But I just got a weird feeling that the Lord is about to work this out for me because some people on GR yesterday, in regards to my general relief with the government, and uh, was able to get that phone call fortuitously. Uh, just because I happened to be in a situation where I had my phone in front of me. The phone didn't buzz. I didn't have my ringer on, but I was able to get that phone call. And so because I got that phone call, I was able to, from there, interview with the lady. And she told me as soon as I get this money out of the account, just forward her the, the proof of the account without anything in it. And that should be the last step for me to get my GR. So fingers crossed that that'll be the case. Video 44. Thank you all for watching.